For those who aren't familiar with the much-lauded diners, drive-ins, and dives, it's a TV show on Food Network that follows host Guy Fieri as he visits iconic diners, drive-ins, and dive bars. He takes viewers behind the scenes, showcasing innovative local spots and offering insight into how signature dishes come to be. Fietti chats with customers who order these dishes, sometimes serving and dining with them too. Restaurants don't get paid for appearing on diners, drive-ins, and dives, at least not in cash. Nor do they have to pay to be featured on the show. There's no inauthentic promotion here, just a focus on places that actually dish out food with great flavor. And while Guy Fieri may not love every single dish, if it's featured on the show, it's at least good enough. With his seal of approval, however, comes a forewarning to businesses of at least one very important outcome. Although Guy Fieri likes to have fun, Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives does not play around with its rules. Participating restaurants have strict guidelines to follow when the mayor of Flavortown comes to visit. Eateries have to be willing to forfeit ingredients for the sake of fame, as the show doesn't reimburse them after Fieri appears and tries their dishes. Plus, they lose about three to four days of business when they shut down for production, and this is on very short notice. One restaurant owner, Andrea Wakefield, wasn't told the producers were coming until about one week beforehand. There are many other rules participating restaurants have to follow as well. These can range anywhere from heavy vetting by producers to Guy having the final say on which dish to feature. And even after all this prep, it's completely possible that the production team will pull out at the last minute, even as late as the moment producers arrive. With all that said, why do restaurants agree to these terms? Serving Guy Fieri may result in a huge business boost. That's right, it gets so crazy at these establishments after Fieri and his crew visit that they actually have to warn participants of the incredible uptick in customers. Thrillist interviewed some owners of featured spots from previous seasons, and Emily Biederman, the owner of Steuben's in Denver, Colorado, noted that, "...when you get the call that they are going through with it, they warn you, this will change your business forever." And yeah, it did. It really did. Another establishment owner, Griffin Buffkin of Southern Soul Barbecue, said that after he filmed there, Guy Fieri told us to be ready for a 200% increase in business. Believe it or not, that's what happened. And it really hasn't stopped ever since. Some experienced an even greater spike. Josh Toma of the Minneapolis-based restaurant Smack Shack saw a 500% increase in sales after appearing on the show. He told the Twin Cities business, "...they told us to get ready. I was like, I got it. I did not get it." It is a power bomb of flavor. <laughs> Warning, don't eat this and drive. One of the restaurants getting some buzz is Oh So Good, a Garretson, South Dakota establishment that was featured in the Richmond Standard after making it onto Fieri's show. Another success story is a grouping of restaurants in Fargo-Moorhead. Those eateries are Soul Avenue Kitchen, Pounds, Blackbird Woodfire, Passage to India, and Nicole's Fine Pastry and Café. All of the chefs, employees, and owners who were visited by Flavortown raved about the success they saw after Fieri praised their dishes, with some noting that, "...I've heard of people so busy they had to close their doors because of Guy's visit." Thankfully, that didn't seem to be the case with these places. Their episodes aired when the COVID-19 pandemic hit the restaurant industry hard, and the Fargo-Moorhead establishments told Inforum that the spike in business was much needed. So for those who want to submit their restaurant but are unsure about appearing on diners, drive-ins, and dives, just know, as long as you're staffed up for the post-show sales bump, it will very likely be worth it. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more mashed videos about your favorite stuff are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.